I just realized I had a, I have a, a spelling error on my goal live tweet. I put two L's in live. I bet L L I. I guess that means I'm gonna have L's today. I forgot to unmute. Hi, Electra. Hi, Mag. Wait, the whole gang's here. Hi, guys. Also, Electra, I love how you have, like, the yellow badges next to the orange name. It's so cute. Is it Father's Day this weekend? <laughs> hey. It is? Uh. Uh. <laughs> Sorry to all the girlies with daddy issues. I'm raising my hand right now. Uh. <laughs> hey. I'm not doing anything. Should I stream? <laughs> Uh, face came out in one minute, I'm not even lying. Oh, that's awkward. I totally forgot. And like, I was wondering why I was getting so many, like, Father's Day ads. I'll be working since my dad will be too. Sag. But you know, if you're getting a bag, you maybe get him a little treat. Also, listen to this. <laughs> I love the stress ball bit. <laughs> It's like a little jump scare. Okay, the music is way too loud for me. I literally have my laptop at 10% volume and it's still like too loud. I'll probably take him to a basketball. I mean, by that bas baseball game. That's what your mom sounds like? Mod, seriously? You know what to do. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. It is exactly 10 a.m. on Friday, June. 14th. I wasn't gonna stream today. I wasn't. I'm being honest. I wasn't. I was gonna stream tomorrow, but then because I did a lot of work this morning and last night because allegedly on TikTok you can now upload hour-long videos. So I was like, shit. You know, why not farm a little bit? You know, this 2024 is gonna be my year, the year of the peace in. So, on my main TikTok account, because most of y'all find me from my clips together, but the main account is at PeaceIn17, I'm gonna start uploading all of my older YouTube videos. Because I have like 50 plus videos on the main channel, like just posted. So, the plan is simple. Every Saturday, still at 9 a.m., there will be a new stream highlight on the YouTube channel, and then on my TikTok account, I'll upload Saturday and Sunday, but I'll go through all my older YouTube videos first. So that's the plan, just so we can maybe get more TikTok frogs in. Because I've been hearing rumors, but TikTok is pushing 10 plus minute videos more. So we'll see how it goes. So I spent all night like re-exporting all my videos, making new thumbnails. By that I mean like just... Because you know, like typical thumbnails are like this. The TikTok thumbnails are like this, so I had to fix the crop. Oh, why am I so dark? Also, we had Electra and Mac in the starting soon screen. Welcome in, everybody. Hello. Yeah, so that's what I was doing this morning and last night. And I told myself I wouldn't stream today unless I got all my work done. And you know what? I did. I stayed up till 11. <laughs> 
exporting and re-editing. <laughs> What is cool is that for the longer form videos on TikTok, you know how when you go on YouTube and you like flip your phone and it switches to landscape? That's what TikTok does now, so I don't have to worry about like cropping and shit, which is nice. Okay, so that's what I did yesterday after stream. Yeah. It might be a short stream today, I don't know, because my sister wants to do stuff later today. She wants to go get ice cream, so... I can maybe stream to maybe one or two. That's the plan. I have like these little hairs sticking out. So annoying. Okay. I think that is all. Wait, the last thing I need to talk. This is not a controversy yet. But yesterday I was yapping, I was yip yapping. And I said a goal for the summer is to try and beat every single Papa's pizzeria franchise game and I didn't realize how many games there were there are 20 games I think it's 17 it's 17 to 20 because they have the flash games and then they also have mobile exclusive games so there's like 20 ish games and in order to beat every game it takes 10 to 15 hours like, cause like the end game, you get the final cutscenes whenever you unlock Papa Louie, and I wrote down like all the stats you need to unlock him for every game, and it's insane. Like for every new game that launches, they just make the criteria like much, much more longer. So, I think what I'll do instead <laughs> is whenever I do it, I want to play every single game in one stream. Like play every single game for like 30 minutes. That way the, the video title can be, I played every single Papa's game in one day. And then we can edit that for like a singular video, and then whenever... Cause like, mm, how do I say this? Doing longer series with minimal commentary is not good for a smaller channel because... You know, those type of streams need lurkers. So... And it's not that we don't appreciate the lurkers, it's just we don't have enough to where it would justify me spending like literally 200 hours playing a game that has limited edited or limited commentary content in it so whenever peason becomes a hundred viewer or one candy i will beat every single papa's pizza rare game completion is run not at one sitting but you know what i mean so that's what i've decided i was thinking about it last night in the car oh my god i saw i saw I saw Inside Out 2 last night. I'm not gonna spoil, cause I- I know- oh, this is gonna bother me all day. I'm not gonna spoil. I'm not gonna spoil. But, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Let me just say, it was- cause like, the, the, the theaters were all full. I think it- the theater we went to, they had like two, three rooms like showing the movie. They were all kids. One person brought in their baby. But thankfully, the baby didn't cry. <laughs> and all I will say is that a lot of the plot makes sense. Like, some of the um, mind sequences are a bit abstract, but you know, if, you, if you're an adult, you get it. But, like, I don't think a child would, like, understand the themes of the movie right away. And let me just say, I cried three times. <laughs> like, I had my mask on, and I was going like this. I was like... <laughs> Like, I, I cried three times. First, I cried in, like, the first five minutes. Because, <laughs> like... Um... Let me just say, it was, like, the first new element they introduced in the movie. And that's when I started, like, bawling. Because I was like, oh my god, this is what the movie's gonna be about. Like, oh my god. And then I, I cried at the end. Also, the movie is woke. They show people who are disabled... Disney's gone woke. Okay, anyway. I think that's it. That's all I did yesterday. Um. Yeah. That is all. Guys, the plan is simple. Stop the music. Wait! Last thing. Guys, today's stream is brought to you by, oh my god, peaceinart.myshopify.com. Guys, new artwork is coming soon, launching later this month. I'm hoping I'm launching, um trading cards like 2.5 by 3.5 and then smaller paintings so guys bookmark the website and there is a new tab up top called blog 
So I will be posting like more in progress pics, more high de high quality pictures on this page soon. So go bookmark it. Do it now. Do it now. And if you have a Shopify account, um. Oh wait, it's blocking it. Follow the shop. This does help me a lot. If you have a Shopify account, all I gotta do is click follow. And I think you should get my blog post like on your homepage. Whenever they start posting. So guys, follow my Shopify. Do it now. Okay, that's all. <clears throat> How nasty <laughs> what the fuck? I don't want that on my screen, Mac. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, how did Autobot not flag that? What the fuck? <laughs> I know you're joking, but that's insane. Okay. Okay, I don't want that on like the the YouTube edit. <laughs> how do I hide that? Okay, it's gone. <laughs> you guys know the drill. Say hi, YouTube. It is day 20 of the Peace Lock 2024. Last time, I defeated the 8th Gym Leader. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I did lose my Magneton, but it's because of that stupid Whiskash fish, or whatever he's called. So stupid. You would think that Magneton can fly and dodge an earthquake, but no, he can't. Anyway. So today we're going to keep exploring Victory Road and then maybe getting ready for the Elite Four. I have no idea what lies in the Victory Road. No spoilers. But I'm ready to face the challenge once again. Okay, we're in. Man, I'm getting so good at these little intros. Okay. <clears throat> I love Pokemon. Wait, how do I start? There we go. And I remembered my live split today. So, I think I need to review what's in my inventory. Yeah, I'm gonna need to buy more heals. So, let's go ahead and get Pelipper back in the party. That way we can go buy some things at the mall. Woman be shopping. And then we'll head back to Victory Road. Because I don't want to do any of the trainer battles and then, like, die. That would be very sad. It's funny, because obviously, I'm nearing the end of this Nuzlocke run, right? I'm already thinking about what we can do for next year's Nuzlocke. Which, you could say that I'm thinking too far ahead. But you know what? Why not? A lily cove! Wait, let me go. Oh, I have to go to a different menu. I forgot. I don't usually fly, that's why. The woman be shopping. I'm gonna buy a good handful of heals, that way I don't have to keep teleporting back to the Pokemon Center. I'm also gonna save my money for, like, the PP up items, but I still don't know, like, which Pokemon I want to, like, level up for sure yet. It all depends on if I lose anyone during the victory road. I shouldn't need more Pokeballs. I have 16 full heals, I should be fine. A lot of antidotes. Let's buy four paralyzed heals, why not? Because it seems like that will be very common. I have $410,000! I could be the youngest millionaire.
playing supermarket soon feels like working my own job. I know, that's what so many people were saying online about the game. And like, if you just comb through the Steam reviews, a lot of people are saying that too. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Playing supermarket soon makes me like, kinda wanna be a, a grocery stalker. Like, it doesn't seem horrid. I've had a few friends who have worked at like, Target or like, supermarkets, and they said like, the worst part is like, being in the warehouse. But like, actual stalking is like, kinda chill. Sag Magnemite. Wait, I can maybe catch another Magneton. Wait. Do I have another Magneton? Because I think the one that I, ha I killed was my Magnemite. Wait. I need to go back to a Pokemon Center. Child, get out of the way. I will shove you next time. I'm kidding. I'm gonna see if I have my Magnuson. I swear I caught one. I don't know if I would like use it in the final six, but I just want to heal that wound, you know? No, I didn't. I guess I killed it or something. I thought I got one. Guess not. Anyway, dream ruined. Okay, now that I have stocked up on heals, let's go back to Victory Road. Wait, I need to swap out my Pokemon. I'm not gonna use Pelipper! figure out who I want to bring. I'll bring Dusclops, why not? Dark works against ghost. Yeah, so plan is simple. We're gonna go back to Victory Road, battle any trainers we interact with, because it seems like the trainers are level like 40 to 45, so my Pokemon should be fine. I have Ralph, Gyarados, Medectric, Blaziken, and Dusclops to fight with, and then we're leveling up Gloom in the background to evolve into a Vile Plume. That way we can have a Pokemon to bring to the Elite Four that can do status moves. Okay, we're going back in. Oopsie. Whismur! So I need to work on getting all my Pokemon to 58. It will take a hot minute to do so, but we'll get there. Yep. I also need to give Dusclops a berry.
Now the reason why I don't have Lai Noon in the party right now is because I'd rather have a stronger Pokemon to potentially use in a trainer battle. Whenever I defeat all the trainers in this area, I'll go back and swap it out for Lai Noon. <clears throat> yeah, I don't go this way. I go str straight. Manny would do. I believe Electric is strong against flying. You know what? Why not? I don't believe Golbat has any ground type moves. Because it's flying poison. Uh, actually, I'm scared. <laughs> I don't want to. I'm scared. Go straight and then to the rat. I just have to remember like which way I come from. Hariyama. Level 40. Hariyama's so cool. Okay, the encounters are gonna get annoying, but I need to level up, so it doesn't really matter. When's our wedding? When's our wedding? Me? What? Mods! But thank you for the resub, Kim! 17 months? That's my favorite number. Thank you for your continued support! Can we get some wimps in chat? Thank you. Also, I want a ring next time. Sorry, I'm cheap. Wait, I went this way. What the hell? Okay, I gotta go up the stairs. You know, I'm cheap, but you know what? I'll say it. I think it's cringe when people, like, do proposals with a ring pop ring. It's so stupid. Like, everybody does it. It's so overplayed. Like, just get somebody, like, a cheapy ring. If somebody proposes to me with a ring pop ring, I will say no, I'm not even kidding. I would be mad if it was fake and they said it was real. You know what? I'll be honest. I can't tell the difference between real and fake shit. So, like, if somebody told me it was, like, the most expensive diamond, I would believe them. Laren is... Oh, he's sturdy! He's weak to water. But I ain't getting a ring anytime soon. Unless your guys' mother all wants to make a move.
<laughs> We're gonna go to the rad. I wonder if I can fall off the bridge. I probably can. My mom called me at work asking why I haven't called her. Girl, I'm busy. Um, uh, awkward. Just be like, ma, I'm at work. You know what I would do? I would not pick up the phone. If I'm busy, I don't pick up the phone. I'm that bitch. I'm gonna try fall off. I cannot. <laughs> I can't! <laughs> I'm gonna heal my Gyarados. Because I assume I will have a trainer battle soon. The music in this area is so scary. Wait, it's just a loop! Okay, I gotta figure this out. Like, let me fall out here. I might be D.U.M. Okay, I can't break these rocks. Oh my- I might be stupid. Oh, maybe I need my bike? Well, the music is happy now. Guys, who thinks I'm gonna beat the peace lock today? Tap one. Come on, take him out. I love Ralph. One question mark? I'll be honest, probably not. Come on, let me hop! Yeah, I think maybe I'm genuinely DOM. How do you come on? Let me hop!
I hate how there's all these invisible walls and barriers. I was gonna, like, transition into a sick... Like... Freestyle rap? I cannot think of what it was called. But I'm not good enough yet. How the hell? I think I might be DOM. Jump? It's not letting me jump! <clears throat> you know what else Twitch is not letting some of you guys do? Is type in the chat. Because you know what? You gotta click that follow button. So guys, we're 30 minutes in. If you're new here and you're lurking, uh, click follow. Make that heart purple. Do it now. Go to level 35. Ooh, <laughs> he's trying to learn Moonlight. What is that? Moonlight restores HP. The amount varies on the weather. How much HP, though? I'm gonna go into the fight with like hella heals. This move would be good if I was doing a Nuzlocke where no items were allowed. But I'm not doing that, so I don't think I need Moonlight. I also like the Ariana Grande song Moonlight. Yeah, I don't think I I don't think I want Moonlight. Cancel me. Come on, let me in the uh Maybe I fly. Nah, that can't be right. This might be a walkthrough angle, guys. If I see a Zubat or a Golbat, I'm just gonna run away, I think. Let me in! I feel so DOM. Maybe I need the bike that, like, helps me scale walls. That can't be it, though. Because any part that has scalable wall, it looked like sand. I think it's time to ask Google. You're probably right. But I know the moment I look it up, it's gonna be like so crystal clear what I need to do. And then I'm gonna feel like even dumber. And I know I'm not dumb. I'm D win. Okay, I know there's a ladder on the bottom right section. Oh, wait. I, I have to go around. Okay. I'm gonna try one more time. It's okay, we don't know what to do either. You know what? I bet there's so many Pokemon fans lurking, like watching in anger. Anytime I stream Pokemon. And you know what? I'll say it, they do it because they're masochists. Gotta be like a secret door somewhere. Like just let me let me fall off. I 
When you use an escape rope, I assume you just leave the dungeon entirely. I don't think you go up or down levels. Oh, wait. Wait. I think I see a path I haven't gone on. Wait. Let, let me mark this guy first. I ever went this way. <laughs> I like to see I have good like spatial awareness. Just like it's harder in games because you know it's not real life. If this is the actual path, I'm going to lose my mind. god i'm so dom i'm genuinely so dom oh my fucking god i never went this way oh my god but i wasted like 30 minutes today like an hour yesterday and i couldn't find the right path. <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> hi peason i bet you're surprised to see me here i made it all the way here and it's all thanks to you Peason, losing to you that time made me stronger, but I'm not gonna lose anymore. I'm gonna win, for the Pokemon gave me courage and strength. Okay, here I come. Uh-oh. I know Wally has a... a renegade. No, I'm kidding. They have five Pokemon. Pokemon trainer would like to battle. They sent out Altaria. Uh, that's Dragon. Level 44. Natural Cure. Um... Altaria is flying dragon. All I know is that ice is strong against dragon. I'm not sure how psychic does against flying or dragon. Ralph does have a citrus berry. It's because I, I don't interact with a lot of dragon types. I don't know what is weak to dragon in particular. Maybe it's bug? I don't see any bug types either. I think Ralph should be fine. I wonder if Ghost... Did, uh, this is not the time to be like testing out theories. My hypothesis, I don't think Dragon would be, like, immune to Psychic. I'll try. Dragon Dance increases their stats. So Psychic was neither weak nor strong against Dragon or Fly. Now I know. I'll just do another... I'll do Confusion. Why are you doing so much Dragon Dance? You're so silly. You're gonna die. Oop. Uh-oh. <laughs> I should've done Confusion, goddammit. Okay, surely... Okay, their attack rows and their speed rows up to... Uh-oh. Full restore, classic. Oh, the item was their turn. Okay. 
Psychic might take him out, but I don't know. Safeguard. Foe's party is covered by a veil. They're doing so many protection items. Damn. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Ralph Grimm, 49! Pokemon Trainer is about to use Delcaddy. Delcaddy is normal and psychic, I believe, because it is an evolution of Skitty. They do have the move to where I believe it can do like, it's like the random move. I remember seeing it in the anime. It's probably in my best interest. Oh wait, normal is weak against fighting. So it's probably best to change the Blaziken this turn. Yeah, Blaziken. I haven't used Blaziken in a long time now that I think about it. Well, Delcaddy's so pretty. Double kick. Yes! I'm so smart. Pokemon Trainer is about to use Gardevoir, so that's Psychic. Yes, we swap. <laughs> well, maybe I could do Dusclops here. We gotta level up Dusclops anyway. Okay, Shadow Punch, Confuse Ray, Pursuit. I forgot what these moves are. Let's just do Shadow Punch. Future Sight. Force on attack. Uh oh. Nice. I thought that doesn't affect me. What the fuck? Thirty-six. <laughs> Pokemon trainer Wally's about to use Rosalia. Will I change? Um, yeah. Blaziken type beat. Wally's actually difficult because they have like a good versatile team, like I do. Foe's party is no longer protected by safeguard. I didn't realize that was a multiple turn move. I don't even know what safeguard is. Blaze kick. Die. Pokemon Trainer is about to use Magneton. Sad. Now, Ma oh, sad. <laughs> Magneton is steel and electric. And I know that it's weak to fighting. So, will I change? Um, no. Oh, it's only a level 41. Oh, no! Oh, shit. Blaziken took the future side attack? Wait, what the hell is future side? Wait, what the fuck? I didn't know. Oh, yeah, it attacks two moves later. I chose to not have that in my move set because I was like, oh, that's dumb. I didn't realize it affected the next Pokemon. Man, thank good Blaziken is a tank. Holy fuck. Die. Easy. Wally, W. Uh, make it an L. <laughs> you defeated Pokemon Trainer Wally. Wow. Peace, and you are strong after all. 
You got 2,700 Poké Dollars for winning. I said that number wrong. I couldn't beat you today, Peason, but one of these days, I'll catch up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I can't believe I never went down this path. I'm so genuinely silly. I'm gonna go heal. Man, that fight was a little bit scary, but not really. I basically had a Pokemon for every single one that Wally had. I'm still kind of scared for my actual rival battle, because I legit don't remember what his other Pokemon are. Everybody's looking good. No L's so far. Hariyama. Imagine I fight Wally again. <laughs> What's for lunch? Uh, your mom. I don't know yet. I was supposed to go grocery shopping today, so like I was just gonna get something at the shop for lunch, but... Now that's not happening. <laughs> I don't know, cause like... With the medicine I'm on, I'm just not hungry. So like, it's because I like I have to have a full meal and a full breakfast. So like, usually when it's like lunchtime, I'm not hungry. So I'll have like a granola bar or like a a mid-sized snack. I can't have a full meal. Okay, surely she won't see me. This seemingly infinite and harsh road lives up to its name of victory. Cool Trainer Hope would like to battle. They sent to Rosalia, level 45. It's poison? It's poison grass, so this should murk. Yup. You defeated Cool Trainer Hope. Your battle style is fantastic. Dude, it's- <laughs> I literally just spam one attack. You got 2,160 Poké Dollars for winning. Okay, now? Okay, come on. Now, time to- Oh. Um. You know what? I'm gonna learn Flash. <laughs> I'll just give it to like a random Pokemon. Thirty-seven. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I need my line noon for... I need it for the other sections too, I forgot. Man. I have no clue who can learn Flash. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to go through and see what Pokemon can learn Flash. You guys, get cozy. Castiel's gonna learn it. Hi, X Decision. Welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Wait, they know ice? Wait, what? Wait. Castile kind of fire, not gonna lie. Wait. Castiel could be good as, like, an opener, possibly. Wait. Because ice is what we would need for a dragon type. I was gonna bring Dusclops, but maybe Castiel could be good too. Okay, let's teach Flash to a different Pokemon. Yeah, I don't need Screech. Screech kind of dumb. Hopefully I won't need Lai Noon in the Flash section. If so, that's gonna be really annoying. Oh, 
Also, like, why can't I carry more than six Pokemon? What if my trainer is a juggler? And I could just keep juggling Pokeballs all the time. Oh, I forgot to heal. Oopsie. I now have a Pokemon that knows Flash? Let's activate it. Let's go. I do need Linoon! That's infuriating. Okay, time to go back. That's so annoying. You know what else is annoying? Watching ads, because guys, we're an hour into stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for four ninety nine, just five dollars. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing on the long or. You can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for a free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. And also, if you gift a sub, you can kill my Pokemon. So don't subscribe. There you go. Also, there's a new Twitch UI function. It should be at the bottom of your chat box. It's called um, Power Ups. If you cheer different increments of bits, you'll either get on-screen elements or different chat customizations. They launched it, like, yesterday during the stream. I didn't see anybody in my stream or other streams, like, redeem it. Because, like, Twitch didn't push it much. But it's just, like, you can add, like, little animations. They're, like, uh, basically, like, Twitch alerts. It's really funny, because Twitch made the default, like, 30 bits. <laughs> so I can only imagine... Like, somebody who gets donations all the time, like, people just spam it. Because, <laughs> like, Twitch will just drop UI functions and updates without telling creatives. Like, it'll just show up in the dashboard one day. Like, it'd be nice if they give us, like, a one-week heads up. That way we could, like, prepare for it. You're back outside. I'll put Medectric in the box for now. Hopefully, I'll be fine when I have to battle. Because I need to be leveling up Bloom. Okay, we're heading back in.
I can't even take two steps. Nah, but th this will be nicer whenever I do have to start leveling. Back in the darkness. Flash the entire cave, and not in the fun way. Blindman is my goat. Man, I'm so smart, there's gonna be a guy at the end of the road. Oh, nope. Okay, still the same Pokemon down here, thank goodness. Also slightly higher level, too. That's how I get back. Okay. Such Graveler. <laughs> First time I, just, uh, I was able to catch another Graveler. Super effective, but still only did 13 damage. It's only level 33, that's why, never mind. We good, we Gucci. God damn it. I'll come back for that later. Okay, that's how I get back. Oh, there's a guy right there. Before any trainer battle, I'm gonna heal myself to full for any Pokemon that I have. That's why I bought a handful of just regular potions.
Because since I only have three stronger Pokemon, I need to play more strategically. He got me! The thought that I'm getting closer to the Pokemon League? I'm getting stage fright. Yeah, you should be scared of me, man, not the Elite Four. Cool trainer Samia would like to battle. They have three Pokemon. They sent it a Swellow, level 42. Man, if I had Manectric. I know, obviously, Swellow is fighting, but I think they might be dark? The safer choice here is Magikarp. Oh yeah, and also Magikarp lowers attack. Maybe I should have Magikarp as my opener. Really? You're such a little bitch. And I missed. Epic. Spamming surf because it has 100% accuracy. I don't care. Twister is 100%. What the? Dude, imagine I lost a Magikarp! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Surf just because I want the guarantee. What? Oh no. What the hell? I'm fucked. Okay. This is so stressful. It left me with 7 HP both times, though. I don't know what to do. Oh my god. Oh my god. My fingers are ice cold right now. I'm not sweating. I'm like tense. Ooh, go to level 38. A Maywile. Maywile is dark. Will I change? Maybe is it dark fighting? Either way, I'll switch to Blaze again. Okay, we need to look up what the move Endeavor does. Die. My heart right now. I think that was the last Pokemon. Blaziken grew to level 49. Blaziken is trying to learn mirror move. Ooh, what is that? 
Mirror move is flying? Counter the foe's attack with the same move. That could be kind of interesting. But you, you can't predict what the foe will use. Hmm. Like, mm, I don't know. I think I would rather keep the moveset that I have, because mirror move seems like a risk. Plus, that would only be effective if you're faster than them. I'd rather keep my bulk up. Yeah, I don't think I like mirror move. Cool Trini Samuel is about to use Kadabra. How many Pokemon does he have? Will I change? Yes. Man, this is so... I think I need to leave Gloom in the box until I defeat all the trainers. Okay, Kadabra is psychic. That means Dark is strong, so Magikarp is in. Oh, this is... That was only the second Pokemon Swillow was the first one? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Future Sight. Oh! Future Sight is the one that attacks two turns from now. It's fine. Bite kills him. Oh my god. I'm literally- My hands are getting clammy now. They were cold, now they're clammy. Oh. <laughs> you defeated Cool Trainer Samuel. I couldn't do a thing. You got 2016 polka dollars for winning. You scare me a lot, though, Samuel. I'm going home. <laughs> I'm scared. Hi, Mac. Welcome back. Damn. I got so close to losing, losing Gyarados. Wait, I need to look up what Endeavor is. Let's see. Endeavor... Pokemon move. An attack move that cuts down the foe's HP to equal the user's HP. Oh, that's why it cut my HP down to 7 every time. Wait, that's crazy. So you're essentially forcing your opponent to heal if you... If the opponent gets you down to low HP. Wait, that's crazy. I kind of want that. Man, that was cool. I'm going to go heal. I think I should be fine with battling with these three, honestly. I gotta sneeze.
I don't think I need to go heal, actually. I forgot that I fully healed Gyarados. I think I should have enough PP for now. I want to explore a bit more. Okay, another trainer battle. Let's see if I'm ready. Heal up Magikarp real quick. I think I should be fine if it's another trainer battle. I'm, I'm so nervous now. The endeavor was really scary, but now that I know what it is, I should be okay. Yeah, everybody has berries. Yeah, these three are my ver most versatile. No matter what lineup I have, there will always be a Pokemon that I'm either effective or neutral against. I guess the only type that I should be worried about is if I get an electric. My Graveler isn't strong enough. Man. I'm so nervous now. <laughs> I think I want to go back and get Manectric. We'll level up Gloom later. I need to focus on winning every battle no matter what. Iron Tail is not effective. Steel is not effective against- oh yeah, water! Oh my god. Yeah, after this fight I'm gonna go back and get my Manectric. If I have to spend a lot of time leveling, that's totally okay. And I have a lot of escape ropes, so I'll just use that. Saved. Now, if only they had a reverse escape rope, that'd be crazy.
Why not give Keckley on the XP share? Why not? I'm gonna save my game. Man, 91 hours? This is probably gonna be in a 100 hour run. Okay, back in the fray. forgot to heal. Yeah, I should- dang it, I always forget! Let's go back. How do you mo- I think I need you to go... Oh, I have to go this way anyway, okay. I'm gonna imagine... Having your Hariyama taken out in one hit. That's gotta be so sad.
Rude. Ralph, you're to level 50. Let's go. Ralph and Magikarp on my highest level Pokemon right now. They got eight more to go and then they're ready. I just can't do nothing without folks interrupting me. Kek W grew to level 31. Kek W is trying to learn Slash. Let's see what that is. Normal type move. Slashes with claws. Has a high crit hit ratio. It has 70 base power. And 100% accuracy. I'm going to swap it out for Freebie Swipes. I think Freebie Swipes is kind of dumb. It's, it's like gambling. Keg W learn slash. You know what's not a gamble though? Following the peace in underscore 17 channel. Because you know what? We're 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to the epic chat. Isn't that pretty cool? Double checking the party. I'm gonna heal Magikarp, and then we're gonna go into this trainer battle. And I think I'm going to make Magikarp the party leader for any fight we have, that way they automatically intimidate them. That is the plan. Hi, Gion, welcome in. Can we get some yos? Hello, we're nearing the end of the run, finally. They caught me! To win your way through the Pokemon League, you need to trust your Pokemon. Okay, let's see what they've got. Cool Trainer Shannon would like to battle. They have one Pokemon. Claydol is Psychic Ground. So actually the perfect type for Magikarp, because I do have Bite and so Yes! Oh wait, it can explode! <laughs> Wait, Claydol can explode. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's level forty-five. Wait, Claydol is—it's either ground or rock. You know what? I—I I think Surf is the safer bet. It surely it won't explode on the first turn. Super effective. Agent power is rock. Okay, it's fine. Attack rose, that's fine. Defense rose, that's fine. Speed rose, okay, stop it. Uh, um, stop! <laughs> it's really everything! Surf again. Agent power, I'm fine. Yes! <laughs> Not me! Getting so excited on one Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Uh, anytime I see a Pokemon that has, like, explode, I, I freak out. You defeated Cool Trainer Shannon. Your relationship is based on solid trust. You got 2,160 Pokedollars for winning. Let's go. 
Oh, that was scary. I'm scared. Also, hi, Gray. Can we get some yos? Hello. I hope if I was a Pokemon trainer, my title would be Cool Trainer. Um, you're kind of new to the channel, so we don't know if you're cool yet. I bet I would be a cool trainer. Surely. I love when you guys spam yo when I tell you to. It's so fun. Okay, another trainer battle completed. Let's continue on. I'm gonna flip my shit if there's like a mandatory double battle. Switching back to Ralph as the party leader. Yeah, definitely Magikarp as my opener to Intimidate is huge. Can't even walk up the stairs. It's just like real life. And no, it's not because I'm overweight. It's because I'm disabled. <laughs> nah, I can still walk upstairs. Just maybe not in like two years. If my rival's hidden somewhere, I'm gonna be very upset. wondered how May's hair splits like it does. Wait, how'd I miss? What the fuck? Sorry. It's gotta be gel. It's gotta be. Or maybe it's a wig. I'll be honest, the only way I, like, recognize anime characters is not by their name, it's by their look. I like when they have quirky hair. Ooh, this is where that secret Pokeball was. It's gotta be. Watch this. Hell yeah! You found one pee, -pee up. Hey, yo. We continue on. No going back now. I'll go down there later. I've also noticed I've been cursing a lot more in these Pokemon streams. It's cause, I'll be honest, it's very stressful. <laughs> Almost losing Magikarp earlier is so scary. Because now, I have nearly a hundred hours in this attempt. So if I lose a Pokemon this far in, it's so much more detrimental. And Shadow? Protect is such a cop-out move. I understand why. It's probably good for, like, longer battles. That way you can just drain your opponent's PP. In- <laughs> In the Pokemon way. I can't. What? What? <laughs> huh? Okay, trainer battle time. Am I not allowed to make jokes? Anytime I make a little joke, you guys so huh? 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 Making Magikarp the party leader, also gonna heal him to full. I'm so scared.
Yeah, this should be fine. The Pokemon League became distant again. What a letdown. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, okay, okay. Saved. Did I fight this guy? No, I didn't. I didn't. This area is huge. The level 23 Linoon in your party speaks to the losses you suffered? What, what does that mean? <laughs> what? What do you mean? I would have had a uh, Zigzagoon, like a level 20, but then I had to sack it to save my Gyarados. Otherwise, I would have kept snazzing on my team this whole run. I'm not even kidding. Man, I still remember that fight like it was yesterday. I might have PTSD. It's a joke, of course. Oh yeah, Magikarp is my party leader. I, I think I should just keep Magikarp the leader for now. Oh, it's just giving the type of energy that you have Pokemon that are meant to be sacrificed? Yeah, kinda. I usually don't sack Pokemon. I've only genuinely had to do that once. No, I've done it twice. We had to sack Mary and then I think three Pokemon. Yeah, three Pokemon to save Gyarados. But the Gyarados one was a mistake. Uh, I got it. I'm so smart. Cause I don't I don't go into fights wanting to sack. I'd rather just go in like with a fully level team. I'm just gonna murk you before you can do anything, Hariyama. You can't be playing Sudoku on the battlefield. Easy. Let's see what we get. You found one full restore. Nice. Walking very carefully. I know my rival is here somewhere. Over the rainbow. Oh wait, what? I'm back here. Oh, okay, okay. So it, it just looped around. Nice. I do have to go down that... Ladder. I almost said escalator. <laughs> escalator, escalator! My sister bought our roommate. The Spongebob version of Eels and Escalators for Christmas last year. And they haven't even opened it once. It's just gathering dust on their shelf. And you know what? That's why I hate people who collect memorabilia. It's so dumb. Like, what's the point? You're gonna look at the shelf, think about playing it, and then you never open it. Because you're convinced that it'll be worth money in, what, a hundred years? So dumb. Okay, another floor of Victory Road? Gomu say do you say I'm annoyed? <laughs> These gold bats are getting on my goddamn nerves. Let's see what lies ahead. Okay, that's just a way to take a skip back. I should have named my gold bat crowbar. 
man. I really hope there's a Pokemon Center at the end of the road between this and the Elite Four. Because, like, imagine you have to go through all this again just to fight them. Okay, so that's a mandatory trainer battle. Let's see. Oh, okay, let's not see. Another stupid Gobat. Rearranging the party, making Magikarp the leader. Yeah, also Magikarp has the most HP out of everyone. Okay, we're going in. You shouldn't get complacent just because you have a lot of gym badges. There's always going to be someone who's better than you. Oh my god, stop! I'm literally 10 in the game. You can't be so mean to me. Cool Trainer Julie would like to battle. They sent out a Sand Slash, level 42. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. My Surf is going to demolish you. Magikarp is such a good username? Yeah. Well, it's because this Gyarados was initially a Magikarp, and, you know, Magikarp is red. So, like, it makes sense. Cool Trainer Julie is pretty. Don't be flirting with the NPCs. I thought you said you had a part already. What the fuck? We're gonna have to send them this clip. <laughs> okay. <laughs> easy peasy lemon squeezy. Cool Trainer Julie is about to use Nine Tails. Nine Tails is fire. Will I change? Um, no. <laughs> Petty not pretty. Oh, wait, I read it wrong. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to clip chimp you. Oh my god, Ninetales is so pretty. You guys, I just remembered. You know what? Honestly, I'll say it. Screw Alex in the chat room. You made me kill my, my Vulpix. Or release it. Hi, Alex. Can we get some yo's? I- that could have been me with the Ninetales! Coltrano Julie is about to use Tropius. Oh, Tropius is grass! I have a Tropius! Will I change? Uh, wait. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, Tropius is grass and flying. Oh. Um... Um, wait... Wait, wait... Blaziken is weak to flying, but he's also strong against... He's also strong because he's fire... Um... I could do Manectric, but... I don't know if electricity affects grass. I don't think it does. Um. Um. Ralph is probably the safe choice. I could do Blaziken. But putting Blaziken against flying is very scary. What should I do? Yeah, because Ralph is neutral against grass and flying type moves. Magikarp will obviously die, because if Tropius has a Leech Seed, Magikarp will die. I think I need to go with the safe choice here and go Ralph. I, I cannot afford to lose Blaziken. Wait, but I also can't afford to lose Ralph. What am I saying? <laughs> um, I should go Ralph. I seriously should. 
Also, hi, Rainy. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I don't know why I'm pondering so much. It's just because I'm scared. I'm genuinely really scared. Yeah, Blaziken will die. We're going Ralph. It's only level 42, so Blaziken would have been faster. Oh! A crit? Thank you! All that, all that turmoil for, for nothing. You defeated Cool Trainer Julie. You're better than me! You got 2016 Poké Dollars for winning. Oh my goodness, that was stressful. Yeah, Ralph. Ralph is always our GOAT. Okay, let's evaluate. Holy moly. I- I said this earlier, but I'm stressing so much more. Because the losses mean ten times as much now. I'm stroking my eyebrow. This is how I calm myself. I scored 105 on my rats test. Okay. I need- I'm, Okay, I need to stop making that joke. <laughs> you know the funniest shit? When I told my sister and my, my best friend about my RADS test score, they were like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Ralph the party leader. I feel like my face is red. It's not. I'm blushing. Okay. We continue on. What in tarnation? If this is a gold bat, I'm an extreme. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding! <laughs> Who got scared? We're in. Oh, I don't have my landlord. Uh, no, man. Okay, well, we're, this is scary. A big empty clearing. I bet you one dollar the rivals here after this encounter. Also, thank you, Gray. We do calligraphy at the end of most every stream. If we get a donation, subscription, or you can use your channel points for free, and I'll write it. I'll write your name for free every day. I like to have uh, like a little chill cooldown part of stream at the end, and also just to give like an extra thanks to those who do donate. Oh, this is my last surf. Uh oh. You are such a little... I won't say it. Should I go back? Oh. Yeah, I kind of want to go heal so I can raise everybody's pee pee. But I'll, I'll like explore just to see what's here. I think there was a trainer at the end of this bridge. Ooh, a Sableye. I'm gonna swap. Just to be safe. 
Because I believe Sibylai has dark type moves. And they'll run away. Please let me run away. Thank you. Do I have any repels in my bag, actually? I think I want to use it. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, I'll use it now. Just so I can explore a little bit. Oh, that's a double battle. Oh, we'll come back here. And that's how you return back. Ladder to go back up. Secret! Psychic! Oh, I already have that move on like so many Pokemon. Epic! To, to progress, I need to go to the right. I ain't bringing Whale Lord out here. Ain't no way. I assume this is just a, another way to get back to the lower level. Okay, I'm gonna go back, heal. Or should I just use a Lapa Berry? Yeah, I got 35 Lapa Berries. I don't want to go back. Yeah, I'll just use it. I spent four or three days on stream grinding berries. So why not use them now? Okay, now we'll we'll just keep going. Keep pushing along. I don't... Oh, repel effect. Whatever. Because this is a long way to go back from the Poke Center. If it's not a Pokemon that Ralph is strong against, I'll run away. Because I want to get through the trainer battles. And then we can properly start leveling. Let's fully heal Magikarp and then do this trainer battle. Okay, let's do it. Sneak up behind him. I'd heard that there was a tough little kid around. Do they mean you? Uh, hell yeah, look at this. Cool trainer Owen would like to battle. They have three Pokemon. They sent out a Kecleon. Kecleon copies my type. It also has dark and psychic moves. I'll surf from the start to maybe take out a significant amount of HP. Okay, now it's water. Bite next. Yeah, I'll keep biting. Uh, no. Since it's a, bite, a dark type, it'll do less damage. Twister. That did less. Interesting. Bite. You are such a hack. My defense fell. I should be okay. I'm going to heal on this turn. I don't I don't want to go into the next fight with Less HP. Oh my god! Uh, 
Jeez, it's so tanky. There we go, easy. Magyar brew to level 51. Seven more until we're ready. Cool trainer. Oh, and is about to use Graveler. Will I change? Um, no. Dude, if you see that I have a Gyarados, why would you whip out your Graveler? You gotta be D.O.M. Imagine it kills me first. Yup! Yeah. Cool Trainer Owen is about to use Waylord. Oh. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Watching ads. Because guys... We are two hours in the stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get out of free viewing all month long. Or you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe, see if you got a free sub available. And if you gift subscriptions, you can kill my Pokemon. A lot to consider, but subscribe if you have a Prime. What does DOM stand for? I don't want that on screen. I assume you don't mean what I think you mean. But what, what do you mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you mean? What? I'm like, I'm stuck. I'm trying to figure out what you meant. Oh, you called the trainer dumb. Oh, for- or D-O-M. For sending out Graveler. Did I hear you wrong? Oh, I, s I see- Here, I'll spell it out. I, s I spell out D-O-M. A little bit of peace in lore. <laughs> Wait, that's so funny. I say D-O-M because I had a really bad issue when I was younger. Of, like, calling myself stupid or dumb. You know, like, just classic insecure teenage shit. So something that I started doing... Was because one of my friends that I made in high school, like his inside joke was D O M. Like he would say, Oh, you're D O M. And I was like, Oh, that's funny. And like it kind of got me over like the self loathing because it's like saying D O M is funny and it's not as like harsh as like actually saying dumb. <laughs> yeah, I do speak funny. <laughs> okay. Cool Turner Owen is about to use Whale Lord. Will I change? Okay, this one is kind of scary. Because Waylord does have rollout, and rollout will hurt Manny, my Manectric. So, okay, I, I what I'm seeing is that Ralph is my scapegoat. Ralph is my goat. I will always use Ralph if I'm unsure, or if it's like a weird type matchup. Um, Magikarp could probably tank out that fight, because they do have Twister and Bite. Ralph would probably the most- we would be the safe choice, though. I could just spam Psychic and Confusion. I think Waylord has significant, like, HP, though. Everybody has a Citrus Berry? You know what? Ralph is my goat. Level 42. Confusion in hopes that it will confuse them. It did not. <gasps> It should be fine. Astonish doesn't do a lot of base power damage. <laughs> Man, Ralph is my goat! You defeated Cool Trainer Owen. The little shrimp is tough. You got 2016 Poké Dollars for winning. Yeah, Ralph is our goat! Ralph is so cool. You scared me? Yeah, I got scared too. I, I always get scared by Astonish.
The team is looking good. Yeah, my... Maggie Carp and Ralph are so valuable. I'm honestly... I was really lucky that I caught an Abra early on. That way I could... That way I learned the type matching with Psychics. Like the strengths or advantages. But Ralph? Man. Okay, we continue on. Now, I'm not doing the silly little double battle. The elite among the elite gather in this cave. How are you finding it? Um, you'll find out pretty soon. I'm gonna destroy you. Please don't have more, many Pokemon. Oh, only two. Cool Trainer Diane would like to battle. They sent out a clay doll, level 43. Clay doll is psychic ground. We had this type matching earlier. It's only level 43. So you know what? A surf should take it out for the most part. I am eight levels above. Good. <laughs> Die. You are such a smart trainer. Yup. Cool Trainer Diane is about to use Lantern. Lantern is the evolved form of the silly little electric fish. So that means we need to use Ralph here, I believe. Yeah, Ralph is the only choice. Ralph is our goat. But Ralph is gonna have to tank, because Psychic is neither strong nor weak. It had Volt Absorb! Yes! That's huge! Die. Wait, what? Wait, how? Genu- Wait. What? Why do all these stupid little fish know Earthquake? Oh, wait, that kind of makes sense. Because, like, Earthquakes start at, like, the tectonic planes. So, like, even if fish don't feel the Earthquake, like, the, the, the bottom of the ocean does feel Earthquakes. Because it's smart. I hate it. Easy. Yup. You defeated Cool Trainer Diane. Not rattled in the least bit. You got 2,064 Poké Dollars for winning. I like how that implies that Lantern itself shakes the tectonic plates. <laughs> yeah, that's obviously what I'm picturing. <laughs> Okay, let's heal up. <laughs> you know, I bet the, the devs made it canon lore. Okay, double checking the party before we do this next trainer battle. Everybody's fully healed and got citrus berries. Everything is going pretty swimmingly. Surely nothing bad will happen. I've come this far, but the tension's given me awful stomach pain. Me too, man. They should only have two Pokemon? Yes. Cool Trainer Felix would like to battle. They sent out a Medichan. They're Psychic Fighting. So Magikarp will be neither weak nor strong. But it's probably better. No, is it is it good to bring out Blaziken here? It could be good to just keep Magikarp in and not waste a turn. Oh wait, Psychic is weak against Dark. Oh, but then Dark is weak against Fighting. <laughs> it's so confusing. I probably shouldn't waste a turn switching to Blaziken.
Yeah, Maggie Carp is tanky. Let's just fight. Yeah, we're good. Bite might take him out. Easy. Cool, Trina Felix is about to use Clay Doll. Will I change? Um, no. Swapped abilities with the opponent. That's kind of epic. You are such a good trainer. You also wasted a turn there, my guy. I'm so good at Pokemon! I'm also overleveled as heck. You defeated Cool Trainer Felix. Oh, it hurts. You got 2,064 Poké Dollars for winning. Very nice. Let's double check our team. Everybody's doing okay. We continue on. A good stream idea for me would be working from home and it's me playing Super Mega Simulator in your work uniform. That is a good idea, but instead of using your actual work uniform, I would just buy- I would get a, a knockoff one. I wouldn't wear your actual uniform. Like, some employers will, like, get you in trouble for that. But that is a cute idea. Oh! Scary. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's I think you're fine, then, if you don't have any, like, logo or iconography. Another trainer battle. Let's heal up. I think a really funny bit for a supermarket simulator stream is making everything a million dollars and then seeing if customers will buy it. Like, instead of having a dollar store, you have a million dollar store. Because anybody who's played supermarket simulator even if items are expensive, customers will still buy it sometimes. So I think it would be really interesting to see if customers bought something that cost a million dollars. I have yet to try it, but I think it would be really funny. They would complain about it, but some of those suckers would probably buy it. Okay, let's see if we need to use a Lupaberry. Okay, Sir for sure. Yes, yeah, Surf, we need another Lava Berry. Time for the next trainer battle. You must be getting a little tired. A little bit. Cool trainer Caroline would like to battle. They have two Pokemon. They sent out a Skarmory. Level 43. Skarmory is steel flying, so Surf should take him out. Yup. Oop. Dark moves have no effect, so Surf again. Cool Trina Carolina is about to use Sableye. Sableye has no strengths or weaknesses. They do have dark type moves and psychic type moves. I'm unsure which attacks are effective against them in the sense of it will actually do damage because they're similar to Ghost to where some physical attacks do not work.
Will I change? I will not change. I don't think bite works. I'll try surf? Oh, it does work. Okay. I think Blaziken's blaze kick also works. That's annoying. I don't remember if Sableye has Curse or not. Because I don't think any of Sableye's moves can hurt me too much. So, like, even if Sableye hits me and then I hit myself, I should be fine. It could be worthwhile to heal the confusion. Let's actually see how many of those berries I have. Yeah, I have 20 person. The bad thing about the person berries is that you cannot buy any items that heal confusion, I don't think. So using it here is probably not worth it. I should probably just attack. Come on, persevere. It's okay. You took out my berry, what the hell? I'm gonna heal here just to be safe. I have a lot of heals, so I can always buy more. I don't- I don't want Sableye to have like some secret move. To just take me out. Okay, I would've been fine that turn. Special defense fell. Let's try surf again. Oh, yay! I'm gonna kill him! In game! I didn't need to heal there, but, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. We already almost lost Magikarp today. I don't want to risk him again. Man, Kegleon is getting stronger. You defeated cool trainer Caroline. No signs of towering at all. You got 2,064 Poké Dollars for winning. Let's go. This is seriously a long area. Oh, I got my citrus berry back. Nice. We're gonna keep persevering. You know what? I probably need a Whale Lord to get down here. Let's see. Or, you need the Whale Lord to go up waterfalls. Maybe I can still go down? Oh. That was a circle. What? Yeah, this is where I was earlier. What in tarnation? Oh no, not another puzzle. <laughs> Hi Ethan, welcome in. Can we get some yo's? Hello. lost yet. The upper, or the further sections within Victory Road are a lot easier to figure out. Trainer battle here. Am I still gonna catch the legendary? Surely. I don't know. Like, if I'm not gonna battle with them, what's the point? You know what I mean? I'm 
just gonna run away from Sableau. I don't wanna waste my my moves here. Double battle. The exit has got to be down here. Bottom. There's a waterfall leading down. I see it now. I still have to go back and do that trainer battle anyway. Going down this waterfall will lead me to that bottom section. I assume that will be the end. Another trainer battle, double checking my team. Everybody has berries and fully healed. We should be fine. I train together with my whole family. Every one of us. I'm not losing to anyone. Huh, <laughs> watch this. Cool trainer Vito would like to battle. They have four Pokemon. He sent it a Doldrio. Level 42. Normal flying. Fighting should be strong, but I should probably not take out Blaziken here. I'm not losing him. Even though it's level 42, I should not waste a turn. Also, hi, Drew. Can we get some yo's? Hello. I don't remember if normal is strong against bite or not. I'll try bite. Uh oh. <gasps> Wait, it's a normal move. Okay. <laughs> I saw the animation, I got scared. Uh oh, I'm burned. Oh! So the tri attack can burn, freeze, or maybe paralyze. Interesting. Okay, well. I'll full restore. Because I don't want to waste a turn burning and then healing. I can always buy more full restores. Oh, wow. Wow, dude. Wow. That did way less attack. How? Is it variable? I'm paralyzed. Let's try Twister. The first one was a crit. That was it. Okay. Uh oh, I used my berry already. Monka. I should heal. Should I use the flower store? <laughs> I'll use a regular super potion because I can just work through paralysis. It's just my- it's like my normal life. You are annoying. How is it faster than me? Thank you. 
My goodness. Cool Trina Vito is about to use Electrode. Will I change? Yeah, I have to. I don't have anything that's strong against... Oh wait, Blaziken. Blaziken is strong against Electrodes. I just have to hope he doesn't explode right away. Electrode. Yeah, I should be faster. Raise special defense. Oh, that's not strong enough. Quick attack, maybe? Guaranteed first hit. Yep. Cool Trinavita was about to use Kadabra. Will I change? Uh, yeah. Oh. Um. Magikarp lo ain't looking too good. <laughs> I could do Ralph. And Ralph can tank. It's either I put in Ralph and then Ralph heals Magikarp one turn, or I just put Magikarp in and then they heal right away. It's probably smarter to put Magikarp in right away. Yeah, that's what I should do. Okay. Magikarp and then we'll heal. See what other restore type items I have. I could do soda pop because I'll probably break out of paralysis one or two turns from now. I don't want to... I kind of want to get ahead because I can probably... If I do full restore here, I'll save a turn and then I can probably get at Kadabra out in one or two bites. I'll use it. I should have bought full restores when I was at the store. I'm only doing this to save a turn. Oh, oh. <laughs> Future sight. Oh, no. Also, Magikarp is not holding a barrier right now. That did not do as much damage as I thought. Okay, Future Sight is gonna hit in the next, next turn. So not this one, but the next one. So that means I basically have to brace myself for another hit. Man, if I had my berry, I'd feel fine, but I don't right now. Just because I know the future side is coming, I'm gonna heal. Recover, okay. We're on equal footing. Oh, it, it it's not the three turns, it's two turns from now. Okay, I got it now. 
I'll try Surf just to see what base damage does. Oh! Future Sight? They probably do Future Sight so you forget about it. Bite will take him out. Tee hee! Oh! So why did you do more? What the fuck? I think I want to take him out. Then I'll heal first turn next Pokemon. There we go. The Futures I move will hit me, but I'll be fine. Shift Tree. Shift Tree is dark. Oh, uh oh. Shift Tree is dark grass, so like I should switch to Blaziken right now. But since the future sight move is still to hit, I'm gonna keep Magikarp in. Oh no. No, I sh Oh man. Oh. I don't know. Okay, so the next Pokemon that stays in will get hit by the future sight. Oh no. <laughs> Oh man. Problem is, Shift Tree does have Dark type moves, so if I put in Ralph, Ralph could take the Future Side hit, but not the potential Dark move hit. Blaziken cannot take the Future Side hit. But the Future Side did not did ample damage whenever I had Blaziken in. And if I leave Magikarp in, he would take the Future Side hit and be fine, but he could take a Grass type hit. The one time we had Blaziken take a Future Sight attack, it was fine. Blaziken does still have a Citrus Barrier right now. So I think I'm, I will switch to Blaziken. He should be fine. I'm so lucky. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so lucky. Okay. Blaze kick and he should be out. Nice. I played that perfectly. Honestly, I got lucky that the feature site fights feature site failed, but I would have tanked it anyway. So lucky. You defeated Cool Trainer Vito. Better than my family? Is that possible? You got 2016 Poke Dollars for winning. Easy! You found one full heal. Thank you. Okay, now let's go down the waterfall after this encounter. And you know what you can do before this encounter is follow the channel. Because, guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream. So if you're here, smack that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you're already following the channel, um... Make sure notifications are turned on, because only half of you guys have them turned on. I want those numbers to be on the up and up this month. You know, we gotta keep the investors happy. I should heal. Well, Linus has an item. We are going in the water. Come on! Hmm. 
We're on the opposite side now. I assume this will be a secret. It's just more people. It just never ends, does it? Let's see what's down here first. I'm scared. My goodness! It, it legit never ends! Everybody's fully healed. Citrus berries in hand. Let's start this. This isn't the goal. It's only a place on the way to the Pokemon League. Oh, I forgot to see if anybody needed Lepa berries. Cool Trina Michelle would like to battle. They have three Pokemon. They sent it a Tor Torkoal, level 42. Intimidate does not work. You saw the maggot crap and you got scared, didn't you? Easy. Cool Trina Michelle is about to use Metachan. The light change. They're psychic fighting. I think I'll keep Magikarp in and just do Bite. Not effective, but it still did about 20 damage. Wait, fighting is not effective? Okay. I am e Can we get some yo's? Hello. Uh oh. What does it do? <laughs> um. Thank you for the resub. 20 months? Holy moly. Can we get some. Oh, Wemmy's in chat? Thank you, Emmy. Man, two resubs today. What's going on, guys? I want to take him out, surf. Come on, please. I need this. Yes! I did not want to see what that eye move did. Coach and Michelle is about to use Ludicolo. Ludicolo is grass, water, but it does have a dark type move, so... Wait. Wait, what do I do? Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Um. Um. I should probably do Manectric, right? But what if Manectric dies? Manectric has about the same amount of HP as Ralph, though. Manectric hasn't seen, like, any fights today, I don't think, yet. Ludicolo is one of my favorites. I hate him. I hate the Pokemon that are multiple types. They're so annoying. But also, like, I love choosing Pokemon that are multiple types. <laughs> Should I do Manectric? I don't know what level this trainer's Pokemon is, because my only concern is that Manectric is slow. But if I can do Shock and then Paralyze right off the jump, that could be huge. 
I think the only dark type move that Lily Kodo has, though, is Astonish. And Astonish doesn't hurt Ralph that much. Okay, bye, Emmy. Thanks for saying hi. Once again, thanks for the resub. Guys, Emmy is my longest sub. She's also a founder. That means she has clout. In the piece in chat, at least. Should I do Manectric? Oh, I'm... Simp? Wait, what? I thought that was a banned word in my chat. What the fuck? Mods. Should I do Ralph or Manny? I don't know if grass is strong against electric. But Manectric does have... He does have a berry. Should I? No, I don't know. Ralph is a safe choice, though. Also, guys, I'm sorry to do this, but I have to use the restroom. That's why I'm stalling. I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. Remind me to start my split. I'll be right back. I'm back. Type 1 if you missed me. Okay. I've decided... Manectric. Let him get a few punches in! And if this fails, 07. A Ludicolo. Spark. Oh, he is faster. Cool. And he's paralyzed! Yup. Shadow Ball. Good thing I didn't put Ralph in, that would've killed her. Or him. Since Ludicolo is paralyzed, why not try Thunder? Why not? Yes, it hit! Die. Oh. You know what? Spark will hit. I'll be fine. Classic! Classic! And it's no longer paralyzed. But we read paralyzed it. <laughs> I 
I'm gonna heal here. Just to be extra safe. Thunder. I could take that. Special defense fell. Now please, 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 please hit. Manny is our guy. Let's go. The Paralyze is actually huge, even though it didn't work. Ludicolo still hit every move. You defeated Cool Trina Michelle. That's the way. You got 2016 Polka Dollies for winning. Okay, since she said that's the way, we probably have to go back. Because there was optional battles up ahead. Man, it seems like today's stream is just going to be trainer battles, which is fine. We'll probably save leveling for another day, because it's almost 1pm. I didn't realize Victory Road was going to be this long. Will I join FaZe? Probably not. It is, isn't FaZe, like, very, like, anti-woman? But I do love phasing up. I also gotta check everybody's moves. Maggie Carp needs a Lepa Berry. Do you see the Pokeball under Golbat? Yeah. I just forget. I should save. Man. You know what? I think this is going to be a 100-hour run, like, on the dot. I was guessing 125, but this could be an exact 100 run. Wait, that's not, like, impressive, but it would be cool. What should we do to celebrate when I beat the peace lock? What should I do? Or rather, or rather, what will you guys do? Because, you know, I'm doing all the work. No double... No double battle. Okay, no need to get your back up. Relax. Let's take it easy. Yo. Is she flirting? Cool Trina Haley would like to battle. They have two Pokemon. They sent to the Sableye, of course. Classic. This one is going to be a Surf Ted Beat. Please break out of it. Thank you. Quiltrain and Haley is about to use Absol. Will I change? Uh, yeah. Absol is solely dark, so Blaziken will murk.
If you get legendaries, you should save right before the encounters. Yeah, that's- I'll be honest. That's why I'm not going for the legendaries. It's not worth it. I'm not, like, losing a Pokemon just to, like, get maybe, like, a decent legendary. If my friend got a bruise on their neck from hitting a door, how do they get rid of it before seeing family tomorrow? Okay, a bruise on the neck? I think that's a vampire bite. You defeated cool trainer Haley. Whoa, wonderful! You got 2,064 Poké Dollars for winning. Um, let me just say, everybody does the classic quarter technique, you know, rubbing it on the bruise. But you can get, like, cream from, like, Rite Aid or something. <laughs> don't question my friend, it's rude. You know, we don't assume in this chat room. I just like to think that, like, vampires, like, so much funnier. Yeah, they, they have, like, anti-bruising cream. Or maybe your friend needs to learn makeup. Oh, wait, did I... I forgot to heal. Oopsie. My Pokemon are cosmically inspiring. Cool Trina Mitchell would like to battle. They sent out a Lunatone. Level 43. Lunatone is Psychic Ground. Thanks, I'll tell my friend. Wait, I thought... Wait, is it a joke? <laughs> I didn't realize it was a setup for that type of joke. Okay. <laughs> nice. W. Yeah. I'll, yeah. If you if if your partner likes hickeys, just tell them to put it where people can't see it. That means like right on your asshole. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Should I switch? Partner? Stranger? Yo! <laughs> you deserve to get clipped? No! You know, I, I will say jokes like that in hopes that you guys clip, but you guys don't. It's so frustrating. Okay, what should I do? Oh wait, it's Psychic Ground. Oh yeah, I was gonna switch to Blaziken, but fighting is weak against Psychic. I'm so dumb. I mean, D.U.M. Bite. Yup. Light Screen. Raises special defense for the next few turns. Yup. Man, Gloom would have leveled up so much if I could bring him. Cool Trina Mitchell is about to use Soul Rock. Will I change? Uh, no. Why is the soul rock so tanky? Oop. Knowing the trainers, they usually do a full restore at this point, so I'm gonna heal myself. What they do, I do. Oh, I, I could I could have just killed him there. That's fine. You defeated Cool Trainer Mitchell. I've never met anyone like you before. Oh my god, he's flirting! You got 2,064 Poké Dollars for winning. The Clip of Doom? You know what? 
It's obvious that, like, I was joking. I know clip watchers are, like, some of the most brain dead people. But, like, yeah. Wait, did I fight this girl already? Let's heal, actually. I hope there's not many battles left. I'm running low on heals. Yeah, I fought this girl already. Wait, what? She's like, the, the end is just up ahead. Huh? Hariyama. I'm gonna use another repel for now, just so I can explore a bit without being interrupted. Oh, I didn't go this way, okay. Please be the end. Very beginning. My goodness, this is never ending. Ready for the next trainer battle? I've made it this far a couple of times, but the last stretch is so long. Don't tell me there's more. My god. Cool trainer Edgar would like to battle. They have two Pokemon. They settled a Cacturn, level 43. Cacturn is poison grass. Yeah, Ralph should be fine. Sand Veil. Spikes were scattered all around the opponent's side. Wait, what? It's dark! Fuck! Wait, I thought... Cacnea was... Thank god. I was like, he looks scary. I... No. No. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I should have just done Blaziken. It's fine. Why did I think... <sighs> maybe it changes when it evolves? Or maybe I just remembered it wrong. It's fine, though. Cool Trina Edgar is about to use Bellaber! Will I change? Uh, yeah. Manny, you're in. Bellaber? That could have been so bad. Man, imagine I lose Ralph. I, I would cry. I would genuinely cry if I lost Ralph. Pelipper! Spark. You are such a good trainer!
Protect fail, take the L. Nice. You defeated cool trainer Edgar. My dream ends here again. You got 2,064 Pokédollars for winning. Let's go! That was close. That was a very close call. You know what is going to be a close call for some of y'all? An ad. Because you know what? We're three hours in. It's been almost three hours of non-stop battling. So, if you don't want to miss a single second, subscribe. It's $4.99, just $5. Skip your coffee and get ad free viewing all month long. Or, you can link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch and hashtag sub for free with Prime. Click subscribe to see if you got a free sub available. And also, just a quick reminder. Today's stream is brought to you by... Where is it? PeaceAndArt.MyShopify.com Oh my god, ain't no way. New paintings coming soon. And if you guys politely could, click the link in the pin chat and follow my Shopify shop. It helps me out a lot. You can bookmark the page, you can follow it. Do it! That is all. A word from our sponsor, but not a sponsor, because I own the company. Okay. Back in it. Now let's do some damage control and see what everybody is doing. Man, Ralph. I'm sorry, Ralph. You should not have taken that hit. Man, everybody's struggling. My last normal potion. Dude, I cannot imagine doing an itemless Nuzlocke. That would be insane. Oh, that's a double battle. Okay. Everybody is good. Oh, I can just walk past them. Slay. I'll come back. You know more repel? Ain't no way. Evergrand City! Oh, that's so cute. Entering Pokemon League Center Gate. If my rival is here, I will flip my shit. <gasps> wow. The orange is not a good choice, but wow. Wow. I literally just healed everybody, but why not? Give them a little break. Ultra Ball, Hyper Potion, Max Potion, Full Restore, Full Heal, Revive, and Max Repel. Let's buy a full, full, a few full restores. Man, thirty thousand dollars! Holy moly! I'm gonna save. We'll go back to the cave because we obviously have to level, and we'll face those two last trainers in a bit. But I want to see what's here. Finally. Beyond this point, only those trainers who have collected all the gym badges are permitted to enter. Trainer, let us confirm that you have all the gym badges. Trainer, believe in yourself and your Pokemon and go forth. Um, no, I don't. I, I lied. I'm not doing that now. How would you even get to this point without all, all the badges? You literally wouldn't be able to because you wouldn't be able to climb the, the waterfall. Yeah, I don't, I don't think my GBA will work with this. Hey, 
Guys, who wants to give me a Rayquaza? Oh, that escalator animation is so cool. Okay, so now that I know that there's a Pokemon Center right here, I'll be fine. I do wonder if I fly, if I land here, or if I have to go through the the Victory Valley again. Wait, I can do teleport? Wait, let's test this. Because Ralph can teleport back to the most recent Poké Center. I forgot Ralph has teleport. So I don't even have to use the escape ropes. That is huge. Okay. Let's go face those last two trainers, and then we'll discuss final plans. Okay, the end is near. We won't need... I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and swap out some of my Pokemon. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I can't teleport in the cave. Got it. Man, I thought it was so smart. What the hell? So we're gonna have to level in that little cubby. Oh, this area is so pretty. Yeah, for leveling, I will not need Flash. Bloom now has the XP share once again. Am I gonna try the Elite Four? No. Ain't no way. Uh-uh. We'll, we'll dedicate another day of the Peace Lock to leveling. Ain't no way. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not doing it. Oh yeah, I don't need Flash in this area. Cool. So we don't, we don't need Kecleon. I forgot that it's a Nuzlocke, yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. I just had to send in a form to have a background check done on me. Hopefully they won't look at your Twitch logs. I'll be honest, that's probably the most sus thing on your record. Let's scare this guy. Boo! What is the victory road? I'll tell you if you win. I know the victory road. It's this whole area I've been in. Cool trainer Quincy would like to battle. They have two Pokemon. They sent out a Slacking level 43. Slacking is normal, and they also have dark type moves. 
So, Blaziken. Yeah, Blaziken is good. Slacking killed my Kadabra. What? Huh? It is thunder. I don't think it's slacking. Did I catch one? I don't think I caught one. Wait, maybe I should get a slacking. I have the. You guys killed my slack off. I remember now. It was at the very, very beginning of this run. I think that's right. Or maybe it was my first two? Yeah! Chat gifted to kill my slack off. I'll never get a slacking! I hate chat so much. Double kick. Oh, he's tanky. Uh oh. He's loafing around, I'm faster. Magikarp, we're to level 52. Six more levels till he's ready. Cool Trinity Quincy is about to use Dust Clops. Oh, I have a ghost type. Dark is effective against a ghost. Will I change? Yes. Magikarp is in. Level 43. Their attack is lessened. This should be fine. They flinched. Very nice. Toxic? I'm badly poisoned. Oh, that's not- that's nothing. Imagine. You're such a good trainer! Okay, that did a lot more. You're such a good trainer. Full of restore? Because I don't mess with poison. Skill swap. It flinched. Good job. Nice. Okay, we're good. We are Gucci. Ooh, grew to level 39. You defeated Cool Trainer Quincy. Okay. Well done. You got 2,064 Poké Dollars for winning. Now for the last trainer battle before the Elite Four. I'm gonna verify that I'm fully healed. Blaziken needs 40 HP. I'm ready for the last trainer battle. I'm surprised I didn't lose a single Pokemon this run. I have nothing to say to anyone that's come this far. Come on! Surely I won't lose one in the last fight. 
Cool Trainer Caitlyn would like to battle. They have two Pokemon. Starting with the Gardevoir. Oh, Psychic is weak to Dark. Easy. Yeah, easy. I feel sad killing another Gardevoir, though. I should heal here. But if the Thunderbolt crits, it could take me out. I also used my berry. I could try Manectric to paralyze. Because Electric is neither strong nor, strong nor weak against Psychic. But if it whips out the Electric, I'll be fine. I also think Manectric is faster. I definitely have to swap out here, though. So I cannot rely on Dark-type moves. Oh wait, maybe Dusty. Good thing I swapped out for Dusclops. I'm not sure if I'm bringing Dusclops to the Elite Four, so if we swap Dusclops, Dusclops in and somehow he dies, oh well. But I'm fine with the swap. Okay, that, that was fine, that was fine. Shadow Punch. There we go, okay, we're good. That was the smart move. Cool Trainer Caitlyn is about to use slacking. Will I change? Yes. Slacking does have Thunderbolt for some reason. But Blaziken is fully healed. They do have a berry as well. So Blaziken is the smarter option here. Man, this one has me shaking in my boots. It could be smart to try a bulk up here. I'll try it. Because there's only a 6 level difference here. Yeah, it raises my defense as well. Classic. It's super effective?! What? So, is ground strong against fighting? Or- no, 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 no. Is ground strong against fire? I never tried that type matchup before. Oh yeah, because you use dirt to put out fires. Huh. But either way, Blaziken has the strongest offensive attack here. I could try Gyarados. No, this slacking might have Thunderbolt. There's no good type matchup here. 
I think I need to heal here and then do... I should have just done offensive... I should have just done an offensive move here. But raising my defense was good. Okay, I think I will heal. For sure. It's loafing around. Okay, so that was a free turn. Now I raised my attack, so this should do slightly more. Okay, that was good. Earthquake again. It's super effective. It doesn't tell me the magnitude anymore. Ooh, should I do quick attack or heal? Because I assume the opponent will do a full restore. So you know what? It's probably better if I heal here. Yup! I knew it. You always whip that out at the end. Double kick again, possibly. Yeah, this might be a heal attack, heal attack type B. Yeah, we were just hitting each other with the same things. I'm going to heal to be extra, extra safe. This is assuming the opponent has another full heal. It's loafing around. This is when we do quick attack. All of the trainer battles in Victory Road and not a single Pokemon lost. That is a huge accomplishment for me, oh my god. Those were definitely some of the most difficult battles so far. Not including the gyms. I think this was a lot more difficult because you're doing battle after battle. That was almost like three hours straight. Man, I did it. You defeated cool trainer Caitlyn. This is a disgrace. You got 2,064 polka dollars for winning. Oh, I did it. Okay, let's, let's get out of here. I want to go heal first. Oh yeah, Magikarp is struggling. Oh, saved. Back in Ever Grand City. There, I did it. I defeated Victory Road today, about three or four hours total between today and the previous day. Not a single Pokemon lost. Man, I feel so good right now! I think I want to pause here on a good note. Okay, save, saving my game. Did you think it would be harder? Wait, is it easy? Wait. <laughs> I mean, it was... It was fine. I think the only reason why it was difficult was because I needed to have Pokemon that knew the... Okay. I'm just asking. Oh, I don't I don't know. Is is Victory Road difficult? Tell me. Wait, let's do a poll actually. Is Victory Road difficult? I spelled difficult wrong. Difficult. Yes or no? No, you guys cannot troll. You cannot chuckle. 
Is Victory Road, like, difficult for people? Now be completely honest when you answer. Is Victory Road difficult normally? Guys, vote in the poll. Use your democratic right. And then go vote. Is it difficult? You guys got two minutes. Because I need a breather. Guys, go vote. And I ended right on time. I was hoping to wrap up the stream by 2 p.m. Because I'm gonna get ice cream! <laughs> Guys, go vote. Go vote. I'm kind of sad that I can't catch any more Pokemon, though. I only got my existing lineup. Okay, maybe two minutes was too long of the poll. <laughs> I don't like waiting. Okay, we got three more hours on the clock today. Go vote, go vote. I don't want to tie. Go vote. I'm so good at the new Star Wars game. You mean the one they showed at the Ubisoft conference thing? Nah, I'm kidding. You know, I'll say it. I think Star Wars is lame. I understand why so many people like it, but... I don't get it. Guys, go vote! You got like 10 seconds left! Go vote. I think the only Star Wars movie I've seen is the one in theaters where they had like the two Hispanic leads. And then... I saw the one where like, spoilers, the guy loses his hand. Those are the only one I've seen. Oh, Rogue One, yeah, I saw the one in theaters when it came out. Me and Kim were watching Star Wars together the night we told each other we liked each other. <laughs> so cute. Wait, I love Star Wars now. That's so cute. Wait, that means... That means at the wedding you're gonna have to bring up Star Wars. Wait, that's... No. No. Okay, anyway. So... Is Victory Road cringe? Chat had a one-to-one. -one. It's... How about we say it's like a level 3? It's not a level 5, it's not a level 1, it's like a level 3. Obviously it's a lot more difficult if you're doing a Nuzlocke. But yeah. Okay, to review. To review. That was the end of day 20. I defeated Victory Road with not a single soldier lost. Honestly, huge dub to me. I think the reason why it was so difficult for me was because I only- I had my two Pokemon that I had to use for the- the Smash. And then also the flash attacks. So I had to have Lai Noon and Ke Kecleon in my party at all times. I think the mistake at the very beginning was having Gloom and leveling up Gloom for like the first half. I should have just had like another higher level Pokemon. That way I didn't struggle as much with the initial trainer battles. Because once I struck, once I swapped in Manectric, it was a lot easier. Like not having to worry about like having a Pokemon that was weak against Electric have to be, have to like tank stuff. So, that was Victory Road. The next time we'll do this, we will level for the Elite Four. My goal is to get all my Pokemon to at least 56. Because the Elite Four has Pokemon 46 to 58. I'm not going to overlevel, so I'm not going to pass 58. I want to try and get them to like 56 or 57. Because I know Pokemon will level, level up during the fight. Now, I can only assume for the Elite Four, there will be four trainers, so potentially... And then, so, probably four trainers and then a champion. So, probably max, like, six different Pokemon we'd have to prepare for. We'll talk about, like, who we want the ideal... We'll talk about who we want the ideal team to be next time. But I feel so confident about my Gyarados, my Blaziken, and Gardevoir. They are my goats. They have pulled me through so much. And they have such a versatile, versatile type and moveset to where they can probably withstand most anything. So we just need to figure out who my other three team members will be, and we'll go from there. So guys, thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. If you want to watch me play games live, I stream most every day on Twitch, twitch.tv slash peace and underscore 17. 
go follow, it's free to follow, and maybe you can see yourself in a future video. Thank you. Oh my god. That was the most stressful three hours of the peace lock in my entire life. My god. Whew. Man, I feel so good. I didn't lose a single Pokemon. That's huge. We got really close, though. I'll be honest. We got really close. I did make some minor major errors. Man, I feel so good. Okay, so next time we do Peace Lock, Peace Lock might take one or two more streams. Depending on how long it takes to level, and like, if I like, like the Pokemon that I choose to level. So yeah. Okay, did I save my game? We're at 93 hours. I'm just resaving it again just to be safe. We're at 93 hours and 31 minutes in the save. So this is, this is probably gonna be a 100 hour run. Which I think was my guess initially. Okay, let's get some music on. You guys know the drill. We're gonna do calligraphy. My god, who's excited for the end of Peace Lock? The longest fucking arc on this channel. Um, let's do something cheery. Let's do Nintendo music to work to in the morning. I love Nintendo. Mm. This playlist is such a bop. I'm not excited for the end. Yeah, you will lose your VIP, Mac. I'm sorry. Them's the rules. Okay, welcome to the second camera setup, guys. Today... Guys, today's stream is brought to you by peaceandart.myshopify.com. This is my art website. If you want to get the paintings that you see in the background, click the link in the pin chat or in the VOD. Click the link. Bookmark the website. You can also use code TWITCH10 for $10 off your purchase. That's basically almost free shipping. Ain't that crazy? And if you have a Shopify account, make sure you follow my actual shop. Click that little button. And you'll get updates about the shop, and you'll probably see the blog post once they start posting. So guys, bookmark and follow my shop on Shopify. It does help me out a lot. Um, blog section is at the top. Post coming soon. You know, I'm gonna have a crazy stained glass faux arc era soon. Last night, I was also re researching um, different types of like glass shops I can go to so I can take pictures. So like, I'm gonna start emailing people soon. Or maybe I'll just walk in and be like, hey, I have a YouTube channel. Can I take pictures? No, I'm kidding. Oh, calligraphy time. We did get some subs today. What was I saying? Oh yeah, so like, I've been trying to figure out how to emulate the texture and look of glass on paper. Because I think what I want to transition into is obviously I still paint is very fun, but I think doing like paper cut illustrations would be really cute. Plus those would be like a lot easier to ship. So I want I've been think like brainstorming because I can't buy materials yet because um clear paper is expensive. Uh, it's called Vellium paper. Look it up. It's like this clear translucent foggy paper. It's not plastic. It's made from plant fibers, typically. They do have, like, artificial vellum now. But I've been, like, thinking about how to print on vellum, how to, like, paint on vellum, because mm -hmm. since it's clear, it, it has, like, a plasticky type texture to it, so liquid doesn't adhere to it or absorb. Um. So I've just been brainstorming in my little head how I can make vellum and, like, work with it to make it look like glass. Because I've decided I will do a little presentation stream on stained glass because it's honestly really interesting. <laughs> Guys, subscribe with Prime and I'll write your name. I'm not even kidding. Let's see, we had two resubs today. That could be fun, yeah. I, I'm. It won't be for a while, but whenever I do launch like artwork inspired by stained glass, I'll do like a presentation stream. I think what I'll do instead of 
Because for like previous paint jobs, I would do like Pictionary and then we talk about the art. But I think what I'll do for like future drops is I will drop the piece and then later that day I'll go live and like talk about the process like in depth. I think I want to do that. Like that would mean like things would come out less often so not necessarily every month. But people will get like a lot more insight, a lot more like educational value. Because I want to incorporate a lot more art history into my work. Like, obviously when you do abstract, you're just like, ooh, pretty picture, I like this design. But I want to learn more particular and specific aspects of like why I'm making the decisions I'm making. So, I'll still make like aesthetic pieces, but I want more of my work to have substance to it. I was thinking about this as I was reading my art history book, particularly, particularly the section where it's talking about stained glass and the arts and crafts era within art in the 1800s and 1850s. Um, no matter if you're a professional or like an indie artist or like just making stuff for fun, you are actively creating the current trend in art history. Like, people are going to look back at, like, shitty furry art on Tumblr and DeviantArt in, like, a hundred years. Isn't that, like, wild to think about? Because... I think if you're making art that is like made to look nice or aesthetic then you're making it for the wrong reason like all the uh, how do I say this like all the people who have that weird jelly like art style not like the way to shade like you'll see it like the overly cutesy aesthetic that's become more prevalent as like, a lot of East Asian influences infiltrating, that's a weird word, influencing a lot of, like, Western art and media. I saw this really good critique that everybody is saying, like, with the rise of social media, all art is becoming the same. Like, everybody is emulating each other's style. So, you, no matter if you think you're making shit or making something beautiful, you are contributing to the current culture in art. And that was something that like sunk in when I was reading my books. I was like, man, it's, it's so weird to think about. Like take art seriously, but like also don't. Just make things you're proud of. Man, 17 month resub, that's my favorite number. It was funny. The other day, we were at Walmart and we were at checkout aisle number 17. I had to resist the urge so much to not say, oh my god, 17, my favorite number, to the cashier. <laughs> I don't know, like, it doesn't matter. Because usually they'll be like, oh, why is it your favorite number? And then it leads into the classic piece and story tangent. But they had a long ass line, so I, I kept to myself. You don't go to self checkout, dude. Have you not been to Walmart in like the last fucking six months? Walmart, for the most part, the ones that I've gone to in my local area, they've replaced majority of the checkout aisles with self checkout. And because of that, they're always fucking full. Yeah, I was gonna say that too. Like, pretty soon, Americans will have to pay to use self-checkout. What does it say? I don't know if they reenact on that, but crazy. I don't like self-checkout. I feel like I'm stealing. My Walmart has a pretty small section. Oh, you lucky then. The Walmart in my hometown, the, the, the city that I live in now is bigger. So like, they obviously need more checkout stations. Um, but in my hometown, there's literally only Two people manning regular checkout. The rest is just self-checkout. 
It's crazy. So self chocolate is always full. People always taking their sweet ass time. Thankfully, nobody's accused me of stealing. Once again, thank you, Kim, for the 17 month resub. Thank you. I understand why companies are transitioning. To... Did you hear that? Am I hearing voice? I, I swear to God, I heard a fire alarm. Okay, we're fine. I'm excited to see Kim. When are you guys gonna hang out? Wait, are you guys gonna like watch the stream together on the TV? <laughs> Wait, who's next? Emmy, Emmy. Next Friday, really? Cool. I thought it was gonna be later in the summer. I'm happy for you guys. Oh, I didn't dot the eye. Oopsie. Once again, thank you, MEB, for the 28 month resub. Guys, Emmy's been a subscriber the whole time she's been watching. Isn't that crazy? You guys will never be on her level. No, I think some of you guys have. I think Kobobo and Mac have kept their subs the whole time. I'm just saying that to cause drama. But once again, thank you guys for your continued support. Help keeping the peace and channel alive. Okay, now, for the brokies. Use your channel points and I will write your name for free. I almost knocked my phone over. Also, oops, just a gentle reminder. Make sure you guys are clipping the stream. If you make the most and best clips during the month of June, you will get VIP. Isn't that crazy? And you also get a gift card. Wait, Ethan, have you redeemed your gift card yet? I don't know if you're still in chat. Yeah, the victory road was kind of... Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad it worked. You know what? You know what's actually wild? So, okay, I'm not saying this on camera. This is not me saying this. It's honestly kind of a dub that you're in Canada. Because 25 Canadian dollars, which is the smallest gift card I can get, similar to like an American Twitch gift card, $25. 25 Canadian dollars is only $19 American. So that means I save six dollars every time Ethan wins. <laughs> so, Ethan, uh, you should keep clipping, that way you keep winning. And if you are a peace and hate watcher, and you live in the States, keep clipping, that way I lose the full 25 every month. I think my viewer demographics, obviously my channel is very small, so like it doesn't matter at this point. 
but 75% of my viewers are in America. I think 15% it said the UK. And then 5% Canada. So that means Ethan and Rainy are my... <laughs> are my main Canadian fans. No, you're fine, Ethan. You're fine. I don't- I don't like calling out people directly, typically, but it's, like, something that I just remembered. Because, like, I was checking out, like, online, the gift card, and I went to check out. I was like, oh my god! $19? Yay! <laughs> Plus six! Wait, but, like, what if somebody wins from a country where the US dollar is worth less? Anyway. Guys... I'm gonna wrap up stream here for- I don't know why I keep crossing my arms. I just like looking big. I need to get swole one day. I'll do it. No, legit. I need- do it. I- I need to start biking again. Because with my medicine, I can't do extraneous exercise, so like, I haven't been cycling because I'm scared of like, popping a vein. I've been walking and shit still, but my ass is getting fatter and not like in the toned way. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Any chatters, lurkers? Thank you for hanging out. Um, the plan is simple. It is Father's Day this weekend, which I forgot. I know some of you guys have fathers that are absent or maybe not good fathers. So maybe I will stream this weekend. Me being one of them who had a bad... No, he's not. Yeah. <laughs> I have daddy issues. It's the most I'll say. <laughs> Okay. The next time you guys see me, I will be playing every single Papa's Pizzeria franchise game in one stream. Or maybe two streams. Because there's fucking 20. So, we'll just click by- If we do it in two streams, we'll use the same clickbait title. And we'll just put day one, day two. Okay. Just a gentle reminder. New artwork coming soon. Bookmark my website, peaceandart.myshopify.com. Click the link, and also follow the shop. New YouTube video will be posted tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. You guys want a link? You want a link? The video tomorrow will be related to... Love! So make sure you subscribe to the main channel YouTube for weekly stream highlights. I said this at the start of stream, but I'm gonna start posting my regular long-form videos on my TikTok which is at peace in 17. So if you're already subbed to the YouTube, you can follow the main channel TikTok, but you're going to get the same videos basically. So depending on if you like watching landscape videos on TikTok or YouTube or follow one or the other and you'll see weekly videos on those accounts. Cuz guys, we need more we need clout and I think TikTok will give it to me. Okay. Thank you all for watching any chatters lurkers. Thank you for hanging out. Once again, thank you to Kim Pewter and Emmy Beef. For the tier 1 resubs, I appreciate you both. And I'll see you when I see you. Maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. We'll see how I feel. I wasn't supposed to stream today, but you know what? I'm glad I did. I beat Victory Road. I did it. Okay, bye guys. Bye-bye. Bye, Drew. Bye, Mac. Bye, guys. Also, no raid. Raid, he's not live. This song is so good. This comp is honestly the best comp of the playlist. Nintendo music to work in the morning. So good.
Okay, last minute. Do you guys have any last words? Tell me now. Okay, bye guys. Enjoy your weekend if I don't see you, but enjoy the rest of your day. Have a good Friday.